welcome back in this tutorial we will learn about multi section solid removed multi section solid and shell so let's start click on start mechanical design part design okay so here is the multi section solid actually for multi section solid i will have to create multiple sections so for that at first i will create multiple planes so click on plane tool select this horizontal plane and give the gap between the planes suppose it is 40 and i want to repeat object i want one more plane here so i will say repeat object after ok and i want one more instance ok so in this way i have created two planes at 40 and 40 gap then i will select this following horizontal plane and click on sketch and i will create first section so click on center rectangle and suppose i will give create this first shape then exit workbench then select this second rect uh, second plane and click on sketch zoom fit and create second rectangle from the center exit workbench again select this third plane sketch zoom fit create this third rectangle then exit workbench zoom fit now i have created these three rectangles so i want to create a 3d object by connecting the this these three sketches so click on multi section solid then select the planes suppose this is the first plane second plane and third plane then click on preview so it has connected the three shapes with smooth curves and click on ok so this shape is created just double click it and suppose now for this shape the closing point are aligned properly if closing point are not aligned properly it will create a twist so we will just change one closing point so just right click on this closing point and say replace and give this this point as a closing point so now two closing points are here and one is here and if now i click on preview at first it will give the error and there is a twist is there and suppose what i will do i will just shift this closing point right click replace and i will give here then click on preview so here it has not given a, given any error but it has created a twist because my closing point one is here one is here and one is here that means this closing point needs to be here and this direction should also match actually by clicking on this arrow you can match the direction so to bring back to this point just right click on this closing point replace click on this point and click preview so now that is that means the requirement is the closing point should be in one line on one side and the arrows arrow direction also should match the all arrows are going inside if i take one outside preview then again it is creating a twist so these arrows direction should also match so the, those are the basic requirement then your sweep will be created your multi section solid will be created properly and suppose now we use three rectangles actually suppose one shape is circle then we will see what happens we will just undo it and suppose this internal uh, shape is circular we will remove this rectangle and we will put one circle there and click on exit workbench and now if we try to create a multi section solid click on multi section solid 
then select the section first section second section and third section then click on preview now it is giving me an error current coupling mode cannot be applied change the coupling mode to ratio so that you can change from here click on this coupling and from this tangency and curvature select or click on ratio and then click on preview then only it will create the shape that means if number of entities in each plane is not same at that time you have to use this ratio option now here also there is some twist is there if you can see it is like this and this is so there is some twisting is there it is again because the closing point are not in or uh, in one line so to convert that into one line actually we will cancel it and we will create select this circle and actually we will create one axis from this center of this to the here and click on this point control this point constraint define in dialog box coincidence okay so for reference we will create one point here so click on this point and when both line and circle becomes orange click there so this is the reference point in it is in one line so then click on exit workbench again we will click on multi section solid first solid sec uh, first section second section and third section after that we will replace this closing point right click replace to this point then zoom fit preview okay we then we have to make the coupling to ratio okay now it is symmetric properly so in this way you can connect the shapes with different number of entities using ratio and you can align the closing point in one line we want to create a multi section solid on a path and now in this case the planes were parallel parallel suppose we want to create it on some path so we will just delete it click on the plus before the part body and delete this extra plane we have created ok ok it has been deleted then we want to create a multi section solid on a path so we will select this vertical plane then click on this sketch and one we will create one sketch using profile at first we will create one path then corner give the radius ok undo it corner we want to trim it select click on trim all elements and then give the radius radius point then exit workbench now we will need one plane here suppose on this plane we will create one shape at first so sketch then click on this horizontal plane and create one shape suppose I will create one rectangle and exit workbench then I want to create one shape here also so I will create one plane click on plane click on this line and this point ok then sketch select this plane zoom fit again I will create one more center rectangle select this point control this point then constraint define in dialog box coincidence ok then exit so I want to connect these two shapes on this path so for that again I will click on multi section solid then select first section and second section then click on ok before clicking on preview click on sp spine and select this curve as a spine and click on preview 
okay now here why it is not creating because of the closing point are at different position so here closing point is below and here on the upper side so we, we will have to shift this closing point on the upper point so just right click replace and give the this point right click replace and give the upper point ok and click on preview so now it has created on the path so in this way you can create the multi section solid using spine also now the uh, now this is a solid object as we can see that in multi section solid there is no facility to create a thin object or a hollow object so if you want to create a hollow object from it we will have to use shell command so click on shell then give the thickness how much you want then faces to remove click on this face and click on this face and then ok so in this way it has created a hollow shape with 1 mm thickness so again we will double click on the shell now if we click on more ok then there is one more thing is there you can give inside thickness and you can also give outside thickness also suppose outside is 2 inside is 1 click on ok so it has created thicker than that so you can give thickness on both the sides and there there is one more facility other thickness faces suppose for some faces I want to give different thickness suppose for this face I want to give thickness of 2 ok so that is also possible so here is thickness is 2 and here on the other all other faces it is 1 that means if you want different thickness for different faces you can give it from here from here. so in this way you can give so in this way you can give different thickness also if required for different faces then suppose uh, i want to create a multi section solid with some guide curve suppose using guide curves so we will just delete this shell right click delete it then ok we will undo it so we will keep all the other elements ok now we have created multi section on the spine suppose i want it on some guide curves so for that i will have to create guide curves so i will select this vertical plane then click on sketch then I will create one guide curve using spline sp spline suppose press escape to come out then uh, I will select this point control this point and I will make them coincidence ok again this point and this point and constant define in dialog box coincidence ok exit workbench so this is my first guide one more guide I want to create here so again I will select this vertical plane sketch and I will create one more guide so first a guide like this escape to come out again select this point control this point this point control this point then constraint define in dialog box coincidence ok again this point control this point again constraint define in dialog box coincidence ok exit workbench so i will i have created two guides in two different sketches that you have to remember don't create in the same sketch create in two different sketches then click on multi section solid then select first curve first section second section again now closing point is below so we will just click it right click replace on the top point and direction should be inside 
and if now we'll see the preview so it has created like this but we want it to be like this curve so we will click on guides is already there so click inside the guide and select the guide curve again select this second guide curve and click on preview so in this way it has created the multi section solid as per guide curves click on ok so it has been created and uh, suppose if we uh, so this this was about multi section solid so same way if you want to cut cut the material inside this solid so you can do that using remove multi section solid suppose i want to create a removed multi section solid so using this curve only i will create it so i will create one section here on this plane suppose i will convert it into 2d wireframe so here i want to create one suppose i will create one rectangle here exit workbench then i will select this plane click this sketch and create one more rectangle here then take this center point and this point constant defined in dialog box coincidence okay make it smaller okay exit workbench so there are two rectangles are there zoom to it and this spline spine curve is there so multi section solid click on this shape click on this shape then closing point now here it is on upper side it is on downside so we'll just click right click replace give the upper point and direction should be inside zoom fit then click on the spine and select this as a spine then click on preview so here internal is hole is created click on okay then go to suppose this shading with edges and from here you can view that the removed multi section solid is created as per our requirement so in this way you can create multi section removed multi section solid that means it will cut the material in that shape so that's all so we will stop here so here and if you want to view the exercises solve on this lecture you can visit here if you want to see the next lecture you can visit here and if you want to view the complete playlist for the katia beginner tutorials visit here and you can subscribe this channel from here so thanks for watching we will start